Today we're going to be talking about Magic the Gathering altars and I've got some of my own altars that I want to share with you guys and I'm really excited because I got a couple of painted altars in the mail today that I want to show you so stick around. Hey what's up it's Jared the MTG Ninja welcome to another video so as you know I'm a big fan of art and that's one of the reasons that I like Magic the Gathering is because of the artwork but what you may not know is that I'm actually an artist myself and so when I was a kid I loved to draw and I actually went to art school and art school was really nice because I got to do a lot of different things I got to try out illustration and fine arts and painting but the career that I ended up on was in video and doing filmmaking and so in that career as a filmmaker I haven't been able to do a lot of drawing and painting and so I've missed that so lately I've actually gotten a little bit back into it as you guys know from my recent videos I've been working on some magic card altars and I started off by doing a lot of vinyl foil altars and if you guys haven't checked them out yet go check out my vinyl foil altars that I have posted up on my Etsy store I think some of them turned out really well like this Kenrith and the Obeka and if you want to go take a look at them you can check out the link to my Etsy store in the description so along with the vinyl foil altars, I actually got to do a little bit of digital art lately. In Photoshop, I actually put together some Japanese style basic land art. And I thought those would be really cool to put on some basic lands. And so I have those up in my Etsy shop as well. And those were a lot of fun to make. But there's just something about having a pencil or having a brush in your hand and being able to do that physical art that's a lot of fun and is really cool. But one of the things that I've never tried out is watercolor painting. And a few weeks ago, I actually did my first watercolor watercolor painting and this is what it looks like. I really just wanted to try out some different watercolor techniques but it actually ended up turning out pretty good I think. Since it turned out pretty good though I figured I might make it into a proxy magic card. I was thinking maybe brainstorm or something like that but if you have ideas let me know in the comments. Anyways watercolor painting was a cool experience and I think I'm gonna do more of it but I also did a little bit of acrylic painting. Now traditionally at least for me when I do acrylic paintings I work with heavy acrylics and so for example this painting that I started and this is a painting by John Singer Sargent that I'm doing a repaint of this painting I used heavy acrylics and heavy acrylics just like the name says are pretty heavy they're thick acrylic paints so when I went to do my first altar on a magic card I used heavy acrylics because those are the paints that I had available and this is the card that I painted it's a command tower and I did this kind of cracked style where I painted on all these cracks onto the card. And it turned out pretty good. But as I've gotten into doing more altars, I've actually started using fluid acrylics because they're a lot thinner and I think they're a lot easier to work with. Now, honestly, there's a lot of different mediums that you can use to do altars. Here are a few altars that I have that are actually done with Posca pens. And Posca pens are paint pens that are really easy to use and really quick to use. And so these cards, one is by Mark Poole, where I had him do a Wolverine altar for this counterspell. And two are by Jesper Mirfers. It's got Armageddon in one of them, and it's got the little demonic hordes guy in the other. And here are a couple more altars that I have as well. One which is an ancestral recall altar on a beta island by Mark Poole. And another which is a time twister by Mark Tadeen, done on a world championship blank card. And all of these were done with Posca paint pens. And you can see that they turn out really well. But Posca pens are really fast for the artist to use, especially if they're at an event and they don't have a whole lot of time or there's big lines with a lot of people waiting. But still, they turn out pretty good. But for someone like me who's got time just sitting at home painting, I can use acrylic paints and it's fine. So as I was saying, I have gotten into using fluid acrylics and honestly, they've been really easy to use and they work really well. So let me show you some of the altars that I've been doing lately. So I really wanted to do some moxes on basic lands and I started off with mox pearl just because I had some planes laying around that I could use. And the first one that I did was this one, which I did kind of a cool paint splatter effect on it. But as you can see, if you look close at it, it's got like a weird pink tint to it and that's because when I taped it down so it wouldn't be moving around when I was painting I actually used red painters tape and so when I would wipe over it with the brush some of that red would come off and it got mixed into the white paint and so it has this like pink tint to it which is too bad because I actually liked how it turned out but I ended up doing another one and this time I used regular masking tape so that I wouldn't get that pink tint on it and this one I did on a revised planes 
and I went for just the regular style of the Mox Pro on this one, basically making it look like the original art. And it was a lot of fun to make. And then after that, I went back and kind of did another style, kind of a mix between the original artwork and that paint splatter that I did originally. And I thought this one turned out pretty good as well. But yeah, it's been fun getting into doing some acrylic paint alters on magic cards, and I'm planning on doing some more. I haven't thrown any of these moxes up into the Etsy store, and I don't know if I'm planning on selling them. If you like them, if you'd be interested in them or something like them, let me know in the comments and I'll get some posted up for you. Now I should say that acrylic paints aren't the only paints that you can use to do alters or to do paintings on cards. I actually have some cards that have oil paintings on them. For example, this Mox Jet. And this painting was done on the back of an artist proof by Dan Frazier. And he did this Mox Jet painting using oil paints. And it's one of the coolest cards that I have in my collection. But for me, I'm gonna stick to acrylic paints. And speaking of acrylic paints, the last thing that I wanna show you guys is the couple of acrylic painted altars that I got in the mail today. So these two cards I actually got off of eBay and it's an altar artist that I came across on eBay and he goes by Pui98 on eBay. But he does a great job with his altars. I really like his style and I really love the art that he did for these two cards. The Urtet he made kind of looked like a cyborg guy, which is really cool and I like the colors that he used, all these different neon bright colors and I think he did a really good job with that. But the one that I really love is this Nissa, which he did in like a Japanese art geisha style and I think it looks awesome. He did such a good job on these altars and if you want to check him out, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check them out. And while I'm plugging altar artists, I can't forget to mention Modfly Alters who did this awesome Eureka altar for me. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go check out his work. And one more altar artist that I'll mention is Alyssa. She goes by Pokey Fairy Rose. She has some awesome altars and I love watching her process videos. So I'll leave a link to her work in the description as well. And one last plug to go check out my altars on Etsy. Go to ninjaartstore.etsy.com. Check out all the cool vinyl foil altars that I have up there. Check out the new Japanese basic lands that I have posted, as well as a few of the painted and hand-drawn altars that I have. And I'm going to be doing more acrylic altars in the future, so if you guys have any ideas on what you would like to see altered, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.